uh, come from low-income families. Uh, in the Bronx, for instance, 48% of all family households uh, with children are in poverty. It's 48%. And these people can't afford to pay more tuition. to fight these awful criminal tuition hikes that the Cuomo administration is supporting and promoting. I'm a CUNY adjunct. I'm at risk of losing my job. Andrew Cuomo is, a, is the governor-elect, and he's vowed to continue uh, his predecessor's war on public education and on teachers' unions. And to date, the city, state, and trustees have uh, cut $225 million in in CUNY's budget. They've um, tried to initiate plans to farm out tuition to each individual campus and wage scales to each individual campus. Uh, they're continuing a process which started way back when, when there was open admission. We want them to go back to open admissions and a free university. Education at all levels should be free for poor and working people. And this is just the beginning. We are inspired by the students in London and the students in France that have come out and rocked the city and rocked the bourgeoisie. And this is just the beginning of not only students fighting back in this city, but also students and workers forming a powerful alliance to defend their interests. We all know what we're fighting for. We all know what we're fighting for. Education is a human right. Education is a human right. In 1847, in 1847, this great institution of ours, this great institution of ours, was founded for the working class of New York. Was founded for the working class of New York. From 1847 to 1976, to 1847 to 1976, there was no tuition. There was no tuition. In 1969, in 1969, a coalition of African Americans and Latinos, a coalition of African Americans and Latinos, fought for something that is very sacred. Fought for something that is very sacred. Open admission. Open admission. We are in an economic crisis. We are in an economic crisis. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Tax the rich. Why should we? Why should, Why should we? we clean up the mess? Clean up the mess. Don't we already clean up the mess? Don't we already clean up the mess? We work hard. We work hard. Some of us have full-time jobs. Some of us have full-time jobs. And go to school full-time. And go to school full-time. Some of us have kids. Some of us have kids. And go to school full-time. And go to school full-time. Full Tuition hikes. Tuition hikes. Overcrowded classrooms. Overcrowded classrooms. The loss of professors. Loss of professors. Where would this leave us? Where would this leave us? We are tired of begging. We are tired of begging. We are students, students, faculty, 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 unions, unions, all stand in solidarity. All stand in solidarity. You see what's happening in England? You see what's happening in England? You see what's happening throughout Europe? You see what's happening throughout Europe? This is an international movement. This is an international movement. For free education. For free education. Free CUNY. 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 Organize. Organize. Like you never have before. Because education is a right. Education is a right. Education is a right. Free CUNY. Students and laborers, shut the city down. Students and workers, shut the city down. Students and workers, shut the city down. In Puerto Rico, in Puerto Rico, right now, right now, the students are on strike. The students are on strike. That's why I made this placard. 
That's, That's why, why I need a swagger. It says student strike. Student strike. strike. We need a student strike. We need a student strike. To shut this damn city down. To, to shut, shut this damn city down. down. Not just for students. Not, Not just for students. But in, so in solidarity with our faculty and our teachers. But in solidarity with our faculty and teachers. And in solidarity with the working class because we know that the money is there. Because we know that the money is there. It is spent to wage war on people in other countries. It is spent to wage war on people in other countries. Provide tax cuts for the rich and super rich and corporations. And it provide tax cuts for the rich and super rich and corporations. All the cutbacks. All the cutbacks. And all the tuition increases. And all the tuition increases can be rolled back can be rolled back to where the schools are fully funded to where the schools are fully funded and education is free and education is free but we have to be prepared to fight for it but we have to be prepared to fight for it when we take to the streets and when we take to the streets you ain't got enough damn cops to stop us you ain't got enough damn cops to stop us all power to the people 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 in 1969, when black and Puerto Rican students went on strike, went on strike, took over buildings, took over buildings, and set things on fire, set things on fire, in order to make Q and E, in order to make Q and E, serve the people, serve the people. Today, today. CUNY has, CUNY has the largest number of black and Latino students, the largest number of black and Latino students to ever attend a single university, to ever attend a single university in the history of this country. In the history of this country, the board wants CUNY, the board wants CUNY to train a generation of bureaucrats, to train a generation of bureaucrats. We want CUNY, we want CUNY to train a new generation, to train a new generation. Of revolutionaries. Of revolutionaries. There should be no price for an education. It's, the tuitions is a way to make money. It should not be like that. It should not be that way. It should be free. That's why I'm out here supporting the students for free CUNY. I think the last three, the last three actions we've done, the two disruptions in this action, I think they really demonstrate that the movement, the CUNY wide movement is at a different point, a much more militant point. Every student and every person should have a right to education. And what is happening today in CUNY and throughout the country is just an attack on all, on all education rights. And so I'm here to show my solidarity with those who are in the forefront of this, of this fight. Cut welfare for the rich. Cut welfare for the rich. To jack up the tuition, when you have all this money down here, a few blocks from here, you got Goldman Sachs, they're getting all these bonuses, they're 4% up, up in the black, not in the red. And here these students are, working class students, and they're paying more and more, and cuts and cuts for the working people. Cut welfare this is for a the crime. rich. We should, uh, the rich Cut should pay their fair the share. The poorest students are not going to be able to attend. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. The education is under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Stand up, fight back. It started when we started disrupting the CUNY Board of Trustees meeting, and it's going to go forward from there. You know, the national student movement is calling for a month-long actions that will culminate in a national student strike. That's what the national movement is calling for. So hopefully we can pull that off successfully. Well, March 2nd is the beginning of the month of actions. It'll go throughout Mar March.